Hello, I'm Bushra from QA Milestone. Welcome to the Cypress series. We all know Cypress doesn't provide fancy reports. And so, in this video, we'll see how we can generate a beautiful HTML report for our Cypress test runs. Cypress is built on top of Mocha and so that allows us to use Mocha reporters. Mocha provides a bunch of reporters. The one that's most popular amongst them is Mocha Awesome Reporter. And so, that's what we have picked. Well, integrating Mocha Awesome Reporter with Cypress used to be straightforward. But starting Cypress version 3.0, Cypress executes each spec in isolation. And hence, a separate test report is generated for each spec. So now we need to merge all those reports into one. All right. So our first step is to install these. Go ahead and do that. I've already installed them. As you can see from my package.json. Once you have everything installed, the next step is to add reporter settings in cypress.json. Here we have specified that we would like to use Cypress Multi-Reporter as our reporter and then we have provided some reporter options here. Now if you run your test, it would generate as many report files as the number of specs you run. But we would like to combine all these reports into one. And also these reports are .json. The report that we are looking forward to is a HTML report. So for these two tasks, we need to run these commands. For simplicity, we'll add them as a scripts in our package.json. Now, to run this, we would have to run these three commands individually. We could also run them together and separate it by ampersand. But a better approach would be to use pre and post hooks. So we'll use post hook for these commands. Now when we run our test script, the post test would automatically run. We also need a pre hook to clear our reports folder. This would remove the reports folder if it exists and create a fresh reports folder and also create a mocha reports folder under it. And this we are calling in prehook. This is good, but we still have a little problem here. If our test script fails, then the post test wouldn't run. And this could fail if the last spec file that you run in this test fails, then the test script would fail and it would exit and so post test wouldn't run. And so for that, what we could do is, so this would make sure that our post test script always runs. So we are good to go. Let's run it now. Our report is finally there. Let's see what it contains. Wow, right? So it says we have executed 7 spec files and they contain 14 tests. 9 of them passed and 5 failed. So like here, this is one spec file. It has 3 tests, 2 of them passed, 1 failed. You can see the commands as well and also the error log for the failed scenarios. So here you can set what you would like to see in your report. Say if you would like to see only the failed test. So these are your failed test. These are the ones that passed. This is good, right? <laughs> I hope you get to use it. 
subscribe to our channel to learn trending testing tools. Thank you.